I'm Winston Giesick, Philanthropy and Special Sections Editor for the Desert Sun in Palm Springs, bringing you the latest headlines on this cool Monday. In California brings you top Golden State stories and commentary from across the USA Today network and beyond. Get it free, straight to your inbox. But even with this new, light at the end of the tunnel, as Newsom has called the vaccine, it's going to take more than these initial doses to end the pandemic. California officials have said they're prioritizing healthcare workers with direct exposure to patients at acute care, psychiatric and correctional facility hospitals, workers at skilled nursing facilities, paramedics, and workers at dialysis centers. The Pfizer vaccine requires two shots, given 21 to 28 days apart. It's been found to be 95% effective in preventing COVID-19. Kaiser Emergency Room nurse Kim Taylor, who also received a dose, stressed the safety of the vaccine, and said that while the vaccine is offering hope, the best way you can support us nurses right now is to continue wearing a mask, maintain physical distance, stay home for the holidays and wash your hands. We can't win this fight alone, she added. We need your help to keep our numbers down. Speaking of numbers. A USA Today Network analysis of data from Johns Hopkins University puts California at no. 16 among the states where coronavirus was spreading the fastest on a per-person basis. The worst weekly outbreaks were in Lassen, Imperial and Amador counties. Adding the most new cases overall were Los Angeles County, with 73,464 cases, San Bernardino County, with 20,353 cases, and Riverside County, with 20,074. Los Angeles is the nation's most populous county, with more than 10 million people. Riverside has about 2.5 million people, while San Bernardino has about 2.2 million. Meanwhile, new cases fell week over week in nine counties, with the steepest declines in Monterey, Solano and Siskiyou counties. Coronavirus took the lives of 1,088 Californians in the latest week. In the previous week, that number was 754. If people are unable to get to a coronavirus testing site, let's bring the test to them. That was someone's idea in Santa Clara County, where a door-to-door -door coronavirus testing pilot program was launched in a largely Latino community that has been hit hard by the virus. According to a report from KCRA3, volunteers began handing out self-testing kits last week in East San Jose, where more than half of the population is Latino. Throughout the country, communities of color have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. While the article doesn't say what test is being given out, at-home kits typically require the subject to collect a nasal swab sample and ship it back to a lab, where it is tested in as little as a day. As a result, there is an active effort to recall the governor. Organizers say they have collected more than half the nearly one.